Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my 35 and my 36 week pregnancy vlog and this is our fourth baby and we um, actually have a scheduled c-section coming up in less than two weeks. So um, we are in baby watch and baby countdown. <laughs> um, hopefully not baby watch because we're trying to make it to our scheduled day. Um, because all of that is already, you know, kind of planned and scheduled in advance. Um, and that is because of just some complications I've had throughout my last couple pregnancies. And so therefore we have everything scheduled and a little bit earlier than um, the actual due date. So we are almost there and it's getting hard. <laughs> like it's both exciting and it's hard because there's a lot of stuff that I just my kids are downstairs, so sorry if they're loud. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that I am having trouble doing now that I'm just bigger and also I'm trying to be careful and um, not overdo things. I'm on like a light bed rest. So it's also exciting because this is our last baby. This is our last pregnancy. So I'm also just trying to enjoy the end of this pregnancy journey and pregnancy chapter of my life because this is going to be the end of it and um it's both like like I'm both excited that it's the end like I know this is my last one because I have that feeling of oh, oh we will be complete once we have her here um, and it is a girl by the way if you haven't caught from the other vlogs we're having a girl we have two boys Bradley and Roman who are seven and four and then my daughter Rory, who just turned three recently. And then this is our fourth baby and is also a girl. And um, so it just feels like this one is going to make our whole family complete and done. And I'm very excited about it. But I'm also getting emotional because it's the end of that chapter of my life. And, um, and just like I'm in my third trimester and in my ninth month I'm now in month nine month nine and just been like a little more emotional and things like that lately so as far as how I've been feeling this week and these last couple weeks is mostly uncomfortable <laughs> so um I've been having a lot of like the lightning crotch where you get like the sharp pain that just goes through your pelvis or kind of even like sciatic nerve because she kind of she's super low so she hits my nerve a lot and it's just like shooting pain that kind of stops you in your tracks it hurts <laughs> and i've also been having like daily contractions so it's not like active labor contractions because i'm not having like a time and i'm not having more than one in 10 minutes and they're not like super painful or they're not even like real painful they're really just it's like a tightening everything in my stomach will just tighten up and it kind of takes your breath away for a second, but it's not like, oh my God, this hurts. <laughs> it's just like, oh, this is happening. So um, I just try and relax and drink some water. I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm trying to watch my amniotic fluid. Um, for a little while, back a few weeks ago, it was a little high, not like scary high, but it was a little high. And then the last time I went in for an appointment, they were like, oh, it looks a lot better now, but keep an eye on it because I'm not just having a C-section. This time I'm also having a hernia repair. So I have to make sure my amniotic fluid is at a nice healthy place because if it is, if there's any infection, they won't be able to do both things. So I wanna get them both done at the same time if possible so I can avoid having to have two separate surgeries, of course. And with a newborn, I don't wanna have to have another hospital stay a few weeks later so and we have like I said less than two weeks to go we're gonna be having her a little earlier and um, but when I had my last appointment they were saying she weighed a little over five and a half pounds which is a little bit bigger than they would been at that stage like when I was there and um, so just like my other three kids my other three pregnancies she's showing bigger towards the end of my pregnancy and this has happened mm, all three times before so this is not like a big change um but anyways so since she's measuring a little bit bigger i'm going to be going back in this week for my um 36 week checkup and i will make sure to 
kind of update you guys on all of that, but they're just gonna kind of check and make sure everything's good to go and ready and I'm okay to wait another week um, because we're planning to do the C-section somewhere in that 37 to 38 week time. So we are almost there. I have not yet packed my hospital bag, but that is because I am <laughs> planning to do that next week. And um, part of that is because some things are coming in from out of town. And I just want to wait and do that kind of last minute um, because it is scheduled. But at the same time, we're baby watch because you're past, I'm like in that end period where it could happen and you can go into labor, but I don't expect to because I'm following doctor's orders and I'm being careful. So I'm just drinking a lot of water. I'm watching my diet, taking my vitamins, and then just trying to take it easy and kind of pace myself throughout the day. Um, the only other symptom really, well, not only other symptom, but I've been having leg cramps and those happen at night and it's like so, so uncomfortable. It's not like, oh my God, this is awful pain, but it's so uncomfortable. It'll just like shoot up the back of your leg, like a Charlie horse, I think is what some people call it. And then I've been having a lot of like hip pain and that is just because she is so low. So there's a lot of pain down there. And <laughs> just kind of prepping for baby. So this is the last time I kind of have to go through this whole third trimester end of pregnancy discomfort and pain. So it's all good. We're almost there. So as far as what I have done to get ready for baby, like I said, I haven't packed my hospital bag or anything like that, but I'm trying to get the kids, like my other three kids, their things scheduled and ready. Um, is there my husband plans to stay with me at the hospital or hopefully gets to stay with me at the hospital with the baby I don't know what to expect this time like it's been making me anxious and the thought of not having family or support or everything planned out in advance this pregnancy has been making me a little more anxious and stressed but at the same time like I also know we're where we're supposed to be, you know, I'm, I know it's going to all work out and I'm just trying to trust the process and it's all unfolding right and it's all unfolding the way that God planned it to be and I find some peace in that but then I also have to fight those feelings of, oh, I can't have everything planned out in advance. So I'm trusting the process and it's going to be okay, <laughs> whatever works out or doesn't work out will be and that's okay so we have um kind of washed all of baby's clothes and getting things ready for her arrival so i'm just kind of working on getting things clean and um organized as much as i can and being careful and not overdoing it at the same time so um we have her crib already we actually don't have to have a car seat this time we can but we don't have a car here in Cambodia. We use tuk-tuks or we use um, moto and other means of transportation. So typically here in Cambodia, most people do not use car seats, even those who have cars. It's not really a big deal here. It's not required. So um, this time, <laughs> I'm actually just planning to baby wear. I'm going to wear her wherever we go. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, I'll just wear like one of the little baby carrier straps and just secure her on me that way whether we're on a tuk-tuk or we're on a car ride I won't really do moto that's really more so my husband so anyway she won't really be using a car seat she's gonna mostly be baby war well baby wear baby war I will wear her okay um <laughs> so we are in our baby watch phase or time for this pregnancy and I have somewhere a little less than two weeks to go. So we plan to vlog with you guys, showing you having a baby here in Cambodia, the process, the hospital, our stay, and all that we can share with you. And I'm excited for it. I'm excited to meet our baby girl. I'm excited to get to share a little more of our time here in Cambodia with you guys. So um, if there's anything you're wanting to see that we haven't yet, um, vlogged please leave it in the comments below and let us know please also like our video and share them it just brings us so much um, 
just love and comfort knowing you guys are supporting us. So um, we look forward to everything coming up and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.